to the channel everybody i hope you're well my name is johnny lee first of all if you're new hit the subscribe button yay that's it that's what you're gonna do uh as you can see on the screen it's another helix video however there's no preset there and the reason for that is uh i'm gonna answer a couple of questions as we're going we're gonna do a little bit of a fast build uh it is on the fly it's not you know completely like totally made up i know where i'm going with it and i wanted to show you what it is that i do with regards to EQing, how I get things to behave with certain guitars, etc., 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 because some people have said that they will get a preset and they'll play it with a Strat and it's great, and then they'll play it with a Les Paul and it doesn't sound so good. That's what happens. Every guitar is different. Every playback system is different. Every cable, every desk, every set of you know speakers that you use live, it's going to be different. And there's places that you can tweak without losing the actual tone, if that makes sense. Um, so the guitar that I'm using today is a Chapman ML3 Traditional, fantastic piece of machinery, I do like it, uh, obviously it's that telly shape but it's got a Seymour Duncan hot rails so you get your humbucker there and we've got the P90 in the bridge so it's kind of flexible uh, and it gives us kind of a bit of a neutral ground to stand on. So let's begin, we're going to go quite quick but pay attention because um, there's a lot to take in, there's plenty of there's plenty of stuff to, to kind of go over. All right, so let's look for 2204 mod. Okay, so I'll put that in first. I'm going to go to the very end, put the noise gate on, turn our guitar in to one megahertz, which is what I always do. Next to that, I'm going to put the kinky boost. I'm going to take the drive off, boost on, bright on. Then I'm going to put our ambience uh, right in there set that to 10 drop the mix back just a little bit to about 40 ish after that i'm going to pick my cab i know what cab i'm using because i've been using it uh, a lot where's our cab where is our cab Where's our cab? There. Jesus, what is going on? All right. So, as it comes out of the box, this is what our Marshall sounds like. It's not very exciting. So, obviously, I'll do the main things first. I'll drop the sag down to about three-ish, thereabouts. I'll push the bias X a little bit. Uh, I'll give the channel volume a nudge so we've got a little bit of life in there as well. I am going to put a drive pedal in front of this. So I'm going to put the drive to about halfway, 4.9-ish. Uh, and then I will throw on a ping pong in stereo because I'm all about the stereo kind of vibe. Set the time to about 4.20-ish. Turn the feedback off. Drop the mix down to about 30-ish percent. Yes, I know I could be typing this in, but I'm just trying to make it as quick as possible rather than going tick, 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 like that. Okay, then that then gives us this. So for this guitar, obviously, I'm going to go into the cab and I'm going to do kind of relevant high cuts on the cab. So... The high cut, I'll take to about 6.7. I'm not going to move the mic. So when I'm building a preset, one of the things that I, I tend to reach for is I've got the same riffs over and over again. So again, if you're sitting on the toilet or you're sitting somewhere watching this and your significant other half walks past, whether it be male, female, she, he, they, them, fridge freezer, whatever they are identifying as, and then they say to you, what the fuck are you listening to? This is just the same riffs over and over again because it's, it's relevant to how I do things. So obviously if I'm around the E... Thank you. 
I'm looking for the flubbiness. And if I'm playing the A, that's kind of a bright sound. That's where I'm listening for the horribleness. And if I can get that... That pinched harmonic that I'm, I'm always looking for because, you know, I'm all about the pinched harmonics, which I can get, but not as good as I want. So, the reason that I put the drive on the 2204 kind of halfway is if I'm going to put a drive pedal in front of it, um, it's kind of not worth throwing the drive all the way up on this, I don't think. It just doesn't work for me. So, if I go to these, what happens is, and this is where a lot of guitar players will not look first they'll get a, a tone it'll work with one guitar and it won't work with the other Just look at the pedals first and then we'll look at the amp settings before you start going it doesn't work with the les paul or it doesn't work with my bc rich warlock it will you've just got to look at certain areas so if i take a dry pedal there's the kinky boost and then start scrolling through a couple of them you'll tonally you'll hear it change Okay, so when you get a when you get a tone, that's going to be your first place to look if you're not happy with it. Look at the drive pedal first and go right. Well, let's just quickly scroll through and see if I can find something that gives me the the feel and the tone that I can hear with that guitar and maybe not with this. That's just how I do it. There's no there are no rules. There's no rules in Johnny's world. Uh, so I'm going to run with the kinky boost because I think it suits the two to eight four really good. <laughs> Does it sustain? And that's the, the pinched harmonic that I couldn't get before because my technique is shit. Uh, as far as the amp goes, I'm not really adjusting too much. I may just bring that sag up a little bit to about three. Uh, I might give the master a little bit of a nudge because, again, if you, the higher that the master is on any of your amps, this becomes really important. What happens is, is that the master will affect all of these other uh, parameters if the master's low you don't you don't get as much out of it so if the master is up a little, i'm not i'm not saying that at any point you should just be throwing the master through the fucking roof what i'm saying is little tweaks will get you to where you need to be and then obviously in between the amp and cab i've got the kinky boost i've got that verb i've got that cab i've done a high cut on that cab uh i've put the delay on just as i like it and then finally which is what gives me my kind of dy dynamic for how I play is I put the tile on. So, turn the pre-delay off, uh, set the decay to about 5, 44%, and I'll turn that on. Hear that? can really hear that making a massive difference and if that's too much for you or it's giving you that kind of metally kitchen sinky kind of sound just lower the mix and again within there you can do a high cut right at the end because again it's it's all eq isn't it that's what it is so if you're getting a different guitar, start with the drive pedal, look at the end, see what's going on at the end. Can you get a high cut on that tile verb? Uh, have a look at the cab. I've done a high cut there as well. And as far as the amps concerned, we've not really even got heavy and deep 
inside of the EQ, inside of the amp. So that's how I do it. That They're my kind of basics. <laughs> So the basics are I can get chords, I can get squeals, because that's how I play. I like a good pinched harmonic. Uh, and those are the areas that you need to be looking at. So when you get any patch, the biggest thing that I can say to you, recommendation-wise, courtesy of Johnny Lee 2023, is look at the drive pedal, look at the cut on the amp, then look at your master. Can you pull the master up a little bit to get more response out of the other parameters? Uh on the end, again, you don't have to put that tile reverb, you don't have to put it there. Um, it's just, it gives it a massive bit of life to me. It gives it that oomph that a lot of modelers are kind of missing. Uh, with the Fractal FM3, again, there is a block inside of there, which is called the Enhancer block. It does exactly the same thing as that, and I've got that in all of it as well. I don't tend to put the Enhancer on the FM3 at the end. It's It sits better after the cab. So again, it's relevant to where you put stuff, you know what I mean? Um, but as always, I appreciate you being here. I just wanted to kind of give you some tips as to where you should be looking to adjust stuff without your head falling off completely and thinking that this just sounds like a bag of donkey's dicks. Uh, with this, would I go out and gig this straight away? I'd probably have a, you know, a good 20 minutes finally adjusting stuff and then obviously I would put it through the power cab 2x12 and make sure that it was all tickety-boo, nothing was out there screeching. Uh, and drop in an EQ, possibly put in a 10 band EQ and just put that on and see if that helps. But that's always kind of a last resort for me. I try to just do it the way that I've just shown you there. So I hope this helps. If it has, great. Take this preset. Uh, we'll just label it. Uh, we'll call it 2204 practice. And then you can go away and just swap stuff out. Use it as a bit of a, a practice patch, if you like. All right, as always, hit subscribe. Thanks for coming. I will see you soon. Take it easy now. Bye-bye then. Ta-ta.